I hope that last video helped you understand why having expression trees is nice because we can reason about those expression trees and and the entity framework can reason about it and send select statements down to the database and we don't have to bring all the data back we can just get exactly what we want now the entity framework is not the only thing that will reason about expression trees there's plenty of libraries out there that will it just so happens that the entity framework is probably the most prevalent one I remember when link first came out somebody made a link to Amazon that would look at queries and then turn those queries into appropriate web service calls out to Amazon's web services to return the products that you were interested in so that's kinda cool anyway in this video I wanna just do something similar to what I did in the link videos where I built up a query at runtime and in that video I showed you how it kind of made these these machines and it would filter the data through the machines and I can attach those machines or detach them at runtime. The same idea is true for expression trees but instead of having machines we're just kind of building up these expression objects at runtime and then the entity framework can reason about it. Let me just show you here. I'm gonna uh, let's get all the people first. I'm going to say I queryable, I queryable person, control dot, enter to get the using in there. We'll say people gets plumber, please give me the people. And the data, we don't retrieve the data here. We're just saying, hey, give me the representation of the people, and then I'm going to build up a query from there, and I want you to to uh, execute that query on SQL Server. I'm going to show off a little bit. I'm going to say var randy randy gets new random and then funk it returns a bull I'll call this random bull gets a lambda expression takes no arguments but we'll grab randy in a closure call next mod it by two compare that to zero long story short this expression will give me a random true or a random false and I'm also doing a little bit of a closure here don't worry about that watch the closure videos if you're really interested in that. Now I have this random bool delegate I can use it. So I'm going to say if random bool then people gets people dot where p oh, I need a lambda expression p dot age greater than 30 just like the last video. If random bool then people gets people dot let's order by p P dot first name. Why not? And then I think is that all the interesting stuff we can do? We have age here. We already did age. I think that's probably good. So notice here, I'm going to randomly generate uh, booleans here, and then say, hey, uh, if this is true, then let's tack on to the expression tree. Right now, we're just going to start with people as the expression tree, meaning give me all the people. Right, and you can go look at the disassembled compiler code if you want to see how that works. And, but then I'm going to say take that existing tree and throw a dot where on there. Okay, so this lambda expression and even the dot where it all becomes part of our expression tree. And then if this is true, we'll then further add that on. But there are some cases where we won't do this, but we will do this. Okay, so we could with both of these we could do nothing. Both of my random bools would be false and we'll just print all the people as they are. Uh, in some cases we could probably get this to be true and then get just the people whose age is greater than 30 but then go out. Sometimes this will be true but then this will be true. And So hopefully you're seeing we're dynamically building expression trees at runtime. And I actually want to do one other thing before that. Let's console write line people and think about that. I'm, I'm right lining an I queryable but what that does is it executes the two string on what the entity framework knows and it'll show us the SQL statement as it currently is. Alright, so if I run this, you see console right line people, there we go. Remember I had to go to the profiler, the SQL Server profiler to show you this? That's, it's right here. Select ID, first name, last name, age from people. Very good. But then down here, let me let me put that there. I'll put one here and I'll put one here and we'll see the query build up as we go along here. So let's let's just try it. F10. F10, go get the people, random bool, right line people. Right now it's just, hey, give me everything. Okay, but we haven't sent this down to the database yet. Had we requested the people, this is what would go to the database. But let's add on to it, maybe. If random bool, must have been false, we skipped over it. Right line, it's the exact same query as before, no big deal. If random bool, 
hey, this time random bool is true, and we're going to throw an order by onto that expression tree. So F10, and then console right line people, look at how our query changed. We have the exact same select ID, first name, last name, age from people, but now we have an order by down here. Okay, we didn't have an order by up here, but then at runtime we threw the order by into the expression tree, and the NAU framework was able to look at it and say, oh, you need an order by as well on that SQL statement. Let's try another one. I'm going to F10 here, F10, 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 start with our original query, nothing magical there. If random bool, that one was false and that one was true again, so we'll get the exact same result. We have the order by. I want to, wanna, you know what, I'm... I'm just going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to force it to go into here, and then I'm going to force it to go into here as well. Let's just take that out. F10, 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 F10. Okay, right now it's our regular query. No magic there. People gets people where. Now it's our query, but with the where clause there. All right, now we'll throw the order by on there. Hey, we have the where clause, but we also have the order by. Isn't that kind of neat? Okay, I hope that I hope that's neat. You want we can go even further and watch this. Watch this var end result gets people dot select. Say I just want to select the let's let's only select the first name. P dot first name. And then I think we're done with all these right lines and the random booleans. Let me get rid of all that. Get rid of my showing off here of random boolean-ness. And then right here I'm going to say console right line end result. And notice the select statement will change. I'll write that. And here we go. Select first name. All right, we're not selecting all the columns now. We're just selecting first name. So if we were only interested in the first name, then that's nice. We don't need to pull all the data for all the columns. We can save ourselves some time transferring data from SQL Server to our application and pull just the first name. We could pull the first name and the last name. We can use the anonymous types. Hopefully you're familiar with those. Go watch the videos for them if you're not. But p.firstname, p.lastname, like that. Run that. And look at the query. It changed to uh, age, first name, and last name. I have no idea why it gave us age. I didn't ask for age. Uh, oh, well. Oh, the reason, well, it doesn't need to. It might have asked for age because age greater than 30, but that's not necessary. I don't know why it threw age in there. But whatever. Okay, that example kind of failed, but you get the idea. Let me show you one other thing before I close out. F10, F10. I'm going to hover over uh, people here. Look, you don't have to call to string. You can just get the value in the debugger there. And then if I F10 on that, well, now we have an order by at the end. On the very end of the right-hand side of the screen there, you see an order by. And then here we go. Here's the end result. And it's still a query. And we have the order bys, but we have select age uh, and first name, last name. I don't know why we select an age, but whatever. Thank you uh, for failing me in any framework.